Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Elden Ring. Here we are in the Tower of Kaelid, but not for long. We will be heading out because this place is just horrific. I don't know why I'm here. I don't know why I haven't left, but we're going to be rectifying that here in just a moment. We are actually going to be finally heading back to Stormville Castle, see if we can make some more progress there. As always, though, here are my stats still level 22. I've been that way for um, 800 hours is what it feels like, but we actually have enough souls to level up today, excuse me, runes, not souls. Um, one thing that I haven't pointed out, which is always a nice feature, I can't remember exactly which From Software games have this and which do not, but you can see in the top left, it does tell me how many I need for the next level up. I need 3,395 runes, I have 4,851, so we'll be leveling up right now, actually. So we'll rest at the site of grace, level up. I did say we're gonna get to 17 vigor for a little more HP, and then we'll move on to some of these other stats which is exactly what we're going to do. Um, I do want some more strength because I want to be able to play with more weapons. Um, it's weird that Arcane seems to really be just tied to item discovery. Um, in fact, when I go down to the explanation, yeah, I mean, it, it does increase holy defense vitality and certain sorceries and incantations. But, you know, I'm curious. Before I lock this in, I mean, that didn't change my vitality. That didn't change my... Oh, wait. Never mind. Vitality is something else. Vitality is an HP, which is what I'm used to seeing. So what is vitality in this case? Resistance to death? Hold on. Resistance to death. The higher the number, the lower your susceptibility to instant death governed by your attributes as well as defensive gear and any... What? What is instant death? Is there a chance to not die? Intriguing. Maybe I'll come across a an instance where instant death is a possibility but not a guaranteed? Hmm. Anyway, uh, and actually, before we leave, I, I am leaving. I am leaving. I'm just curious. Do I have any hard runes that I could use? Also, Starlight Jar. I think I picked this up and then never looked at it. A prized item that was once used in the Eternal City as an ingredient in intoxicating drafts. Used to gradually recover FP. Okay, cool. Um, I do indeed have some. Do I have enough maybe to get another level up? So that's a level one. This is a level four. I think that's 1200. And then a level five is probably either 14 or 1600. That might be enough actually for another level up. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. Great. So now the question becomes, what are we going to level up? Could do dexterity or could do, no, let's do intelligence, right? Cause didn't I just get something that required 17 intelligence? I believe I did. I don't remember what I got. Was it the meteorite staff? No, that's 18. That's 18. That's only one more. Was it the sorcery that I got? No, rock blaster is 21. All right, we'll do one more point into intelligence at least, and I'm resting again to travel, um, and then we'll kind of play around with that new staff and maybe that new sorcery once we get to 21. I don't really have a build in mind, by the way. I think that's probably pretty clear. I do like when I do my first playthrough not to have a dedicated build because I want to play with as much as I can. Kind of a jack of all trades, which frankly is a terrible build idea. I don't suggest it unless you just want to have a whole lot of fun, but a whole lot of struggle along the way too. Right, so what's the plan here? I think the plan's got to be to drop down and to start taking this area not necessarily from the front we can go and take on those enemies right there I'm still really curious that can I get in that room it's very bright Ooh, but 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 let's see we have our bow at the ready I have arrows I'm also now gonna put on my fire arrows because let's go here and R2 should unleash a fire arrow. <laughs> oh, oh, that. That is very satisfying. I like that a lot. Now I do see 
one more. That one is also carrying a flaming barrel. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I know that there was one more hiding behind there. I don't know if I can get the drop on him or not. Wait. Yeah. I can get in there, right? Looks like there's a window. No, I have, I've already dropped in there, though. That's where... Rajay is. Right, there's the bell. I have dropped in there, though. Right, that goes to... Yeah, I totally have dropped down there. And I went in this window, right? Okay. Yeah, alright. It's just that it's the stained glass. That's what I was looking at. That's what I've been looking at. Wait. Oh, it was just the talk option. It looked like I got an option at this table. Uh, how many runes? 1,500. I would like to buy his last one, which was that silly little... Oh, I can! Spinning weapon. Spinning weapon. Also, it looks like I didn't even notice this. Under the name of the Ash of War, kind of right in the center there, it does state that it, I guess, imbues magic, so that maybe that's the default that it that it does. This is small and medium swords, axes and hammers, as well as pole arms and save. Can you imagine using this with a pole arm? That would be pretty cool. And maybe any new dialogue for buying all of them? Oh, keen to look. Nope. Hmm. Alright. Uh yeah, I would I would like to play around with that. I think that sounds pretty fun. Alright, let's just take care of them. And then let's okay now that I have the guard counter I think we're gonna have a much easier time okay perfect oh and by an easier time I mean just a horrific time all right let's try that again Backstab. There it is. Not going to be able to kill him, so let's just... Wow, not getting the uh, the guard break, shockingly enough. There we have it. Mushroom, what do we get from you? The Banished Knight Armor Altered. And now... That's right, we can't actually hop over here, so we will have to go... This way. <laughs> You're dead. It's been a while. Alright, it's actually been a while since I've been to Stormvale. Please give me a little bit of slack here. Ugh, it's gonna bother me. I still can't get that. But I th think. Hmm. Honestly, the easiest way is just for me to go back to the site of grace. Why is there an item there again? Huh. Oh, and I never did jump, jump over here, even though I saw that I could. Hmm, okay. Where's this gonna lead? Gold pickled foulfoot? Is that just an improved version of the silver pickled? Oh no, boost rune acquisition. Alright. Okay, I dig that. Kinda of, well, it's kinda of weird. Listen to the sound effects of the banner, that's pretty cool. Oh boy, there's Okay, there's the uh, the knight that's patrolling that room. We fought him before. Oh, ladder, cool. And hmm, 
Is this the rooftop with the scary exploding bird? No, not exploding, but pyro bird. Oh, this is it. This is how I get to that one, that one shiny. This is it, isn't it? It is. Yep, there's the door. I bet I can open it now. Come on now. Come on, give me a poke. Really? Oh, you... You're just being stubborn. Just give me a poke. My friend. That, that's fine. Now, you know what? Fine. Now, didn't quite get what I wanted out of it, but yes, 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 yes. Here it is. Okay. And a treasure. All right. Has it been worth it? Some sort of key. He's going to kill me with a kick. He almost just killed me with a kick. I'm not okay with this. I have, what, three of those stone swords? I do. I have three of those. Also, I don't be teleported anywhere else. Pickled turtleneck. Okay. I've, I've fought some turtles. This temporarily boosts stamina recovery. Ooh. Okay, now that, that is something to behold. Nope, pass. Tell you what, let's, can you actually use the map in battle? No. Okay, not, not too surprising. I was wondering if you could get a guard counter on a projectile, the answer is yes. That's and that's pretty cool. I like that. And now I can use it. All right, let's go. Let's go back to the rampart tower. Yeah, definitely go back to the tower. Go back to the tower, and then we're gonna go and try and attack that front, those front gates. That is, that's the plan. Uh, just, just in case, and actually really just because I want to kill these birds for what they've done to me. Yes, please, thank you much, and, and actually, I should be collecting their, their feathers. But are they even dropping any? Yes, yes they are. Excellent. Flight pinions, and... Oh, just you. Well... Nope, you did as well. Perfect. So now that we've done that, let's consider where we want to drop down. Well, not here. I guess we actually want to go back to that rooftop. Just over here, yeah. Just that running and jump. I could go up top. And maybe there's even more loot, but I think I think we'll just do this. Excellent. Now there are some flaming barrels down here too. And there's also a bit of a walkway here. I wonder if I can actually get anywhere cool like this. Or maybe even just use this to snipe some enemies. Oh wow, I actually might be able to get somewhere. I might be able to get somewhere really cool. Now, I've been over here. This isn't a new area. But just the fact that I can get here just by traversing... Uh oh Okay. Um, hmm. We need to make sure we don't have anything behind us right now. We don't.
Okay, let's take them on then. We'll just do a couple of quick glintstone arcs to take out the weaker one. Okay. Give me something light to punish. That wasn't it. I mean, that was it. But I wasn't within range. Back up. There it is. There's the knockdown. Got you. Ooh, nice, the helm. And then... Oh, gosh. There's just... There's still so many. All right, there's the main gate. I finally understand kind of where... Where I am, I think, right? The main gate would be that way. Oh, missed an item. Can I... Can I see... Anymore? Wow. I'm still just kind of in awe at the sheer scope of this place. Alright, just... Even though... I know we've already been here. I'm really just kind of clearing some enemies. Finding out where... Where I want to launch this attack. I mean, there's just, there's so many explosive barrels. Well, what if I... What if I didn't necessarily focus on exploding barrels, but maybe I can pick some of them off? I mean, that's decent damage. I can two-shot them. That was probably, though, because I got a headshot. Oh. Come on. Wander back. Where did the other one go? There he is. And these are just with regular arrows, too. Dead? All right, so I've killed a few. Oh, was he about to sound the alarm? Kind of looked like he was. What else do we have nice and close? Let's deal with you. Nice stagger when you get that headshot, too. Um, tell you what. Let's try it. See if this has a big enough explosion. Nope. <laughs> Although, they are really not concerned, are they? Uh oh. Okay. Only one more regular arrow. Which means I'm probably just going to put those away, switch them out for the Stormwing arrows. I know, slow and steady, right? Not fun to watch. But, effective. Very. And, wow! Look at that, that's actually really cool. So, someone died, so another soldier came in to close ranks and take up arms. That was, that was pretty cool. Also, if I roll here, will I get in that little bunker? No? <laughs> that's alright. I can summon here, and we are going to summon here. And I think the wolves are definitely going to be what I want. Oh, look at that. That's weird. Look at that. Really bright window or painting. No painting. And, oh, what is that big guy? Is that a... Is that a troll? That looks like a troll. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm thinking that may be. So, pardon me, puppos. And you also have a dog with you. I'm just trying to think, are there any summoning other plays for calling finger remedy? Okay. That's for multiplayer, which I'm not doing right now. Oh, okay. It's uh it's happening. Oh. My goodness. Whoa, what? No, 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 no. Oh, my poor wolves. Okay, quickly. He's actually trying to get at me, but the wolves are keeping him stuck. That's great. Okay, well. Far from ideal. However, it worked. I'm alive. Does that... I can't tell if that bird has an exploding barrel. It doesn't look like it. However, I do see this guy right here. Let's go ahead and deal with him. Well, let's deal with him by going up there, because he is... He is staying put. Okay. Slow and steady. Wooden great shield. So what is that going to be good for? Probably next to nothing. I can't even... W oh, it's a great shield. 79% physical. 51 guard boost. That's pretty good. It also has no skill, which I like, because that gives you the weapon skill. Now, question. If I... I can send them back. Does that mean I... Okay. Follow-up question. No! Uh, okay. I thought maybe that would allow me to resummon them. And therefore heal them. That does not seem to be the case. All right, most of the enemies here, though, are cleared out. That was unbelievably how bad that was. Okay. Come on. That's That was bad. All right. Well, time to just start running, even though... Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, the range. I'm not doing very well here, am I? Boy, it would just be swell if I got a flashback after this. I took so much time to clear this courtyard only to really, really mess it up at the end. Come on, give me something basic. There we are. All right, now please, I cleared the courtyard. I think that's worthy of a flask or two. Right? No, no, it's not. All right, a lot of loot here. Magic grease, okay. Why do these have to pop up like this every time I pick them up? The... Oh, Pike! New weapon. Like some of these, like the, the smoldering butterflies and the runes. Just no matter what, they always appear. Like they always actually have to pop up. It's a... Uh, it's kind of silly. Wow, so much loot. Nothing super, super valuable it seems. Exile gauntlets. I probably have nearly the entire set. What is this? Um, that's peculiar, right? I mean, 
Gotta do something with this. But I don't know what. Hmm. All right. Now in here, this is where the window or the painting is. Oh, very bright. It's not going to teleport me somewhere, is it? Examine. Prophecy paint. I got painting? Is there... Is there like housing in this uh, in this game? That was in the book section. I guess it's in the info. Prophecy painting. Reminiscence of the painting prophecy. Work of a wandering artist. The painter is said to have captured the landscape seen here during the last moments of those welcomed into death's embrace. The soul of the painter and vestiges of the dead's last moments can be discovered by visiting the location depicted even now. All right, so I need to find out where that picture was painted to find the artist. Although it said it right before, you know, he embraced death. So I don't think I'm going to find him in good spirits, if you will. Also, getting a little dark. Anything up in this little bunkhouse? Actually sounds like there's still an enemy. Now, I've been down there. I know I've been down there. There is... An enemy. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. I'm really glad that didn't break my guard. Hey, 12 fire arrows. That's handy. I've been using those. Although, I just don't see how... You're going to use those very effectively. Yes, there's a lot of exploding barrels, but none of the enemies seem close enough to actually be impacted by them. Also, I'm really, really curious. What is up with this glowing statue? It's split and something wants to come out as if... Something wants to spill out. Now, can these barrels... Like in Dark Souls 2... Can they be... No, they can't be rolled. Hmm. Okay. Not sure. Up there, there's an angry bird. Over here. I have a sight of grace. Oh, my lanta. I have a sight of grace. So what do I do? Run away from it to go get an item. And it's a smithing stone. Oh, two smithing stones. In fact, what does that get me up to? Six. I think that's enough for a plus three uh, straight sword. Hmm. Uh, I don't actually... I know, I know. I should rest. I don't think I'm going to rest right now simply because that's a, that's a big courtyard to fight again. Alright, so, this is an elevator I've already activated, so where is this going? Please know we're bad. Something, something is humming. Something is humming. What? Uh, it's... Oh, it's Dung Beetle. I don't know what kind you are. What kind are you? Oh, st Storm call also another site of grace. What? I just got a new Ash of War st uh, storm collar. Oh, criminy. What? Is is this the big boss? I mean, is this the boss of the castle? I don't. I don't think I'm ready. But also, we need to go investigate because. Yes, well, I've stayed, you know, fairly blind to Elden Ring. Everyone has seen Potboy. In fact, I even have a Potboy plushie, thanks to Bandai Namco. They sent me a really cool 
kind of press release kit, but why are they... Anyway, there's a big one back there, too. Yep, okay, great. So you... you Why? No, 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 no. Um, hmm... Can I target? What kind of damage? Not enough. Oh my gosh, it's so sad because you actually break the pots. Okay, let's arc it up. I only have enough for a little. Oh, okay. What about fire? 50. What about regular arrows? 56. You can't actually come in here, though, can you? What about a mighty shot? I don't have enough FP, so never mind. Nope. Please don't come through. Wow, quite the explosion. And we get Living Jar Shard. And a Red Meat Dumpling? That's horrible! That was, <laughs> that was terrible. Red Meat Dumpling. Restores HP but causes poison buildup. Poison buildup? Not recommended for those who prefer to know the origins of their meat. A pungent raw meatball made succulent by virtue of being on the verge of turning. That's not what succulent means. That's not. Let's be honest. Okay. It doesn't just cause poison buildup, it causes poison. Well, alright, luckily I had the, the bolus to cure that. And one more? Two more? Do I have enough for a pebble? I have enough for a pebble at least, might as well. I still love that you can... Wait. Does that do more damage? Is it because I hit the pot lid? Hmm. Or is it because I hit their arms? I mean, the arms would make the most sense for being weak. Also, I'm just realizing we're past the 30-minute mark. That's okay. Crack pot. Fantastic. And, oh, that's wonderful news. That is wonderful news because that means, yeah, we can craft some more throwables. And I can craft several more firebombs. I think that's, I think that's great. I can also craft a little bit more of the Stormwing arrows. Ooh, I don't want there. Oh my gosh, we have options now. Including a boss encounter. I don't know if this is the big baddie. It doesn't feel like it is because it doesn't feel like I'm far enough in. But I think we're going to check out what's behind this golden mist next time. This is going to do it for this episode of, I almost said everything possible. No, this is, this is an episode of some things uh, doable with great difficulty and tribulation. Starring Blue Lizard Dell. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying. Hope you're getting to enjoy this amazing game on your own. And um, yeah, wow. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do next time, but um, I will see you then.